I'm John Sentez with Cutter Nation Baseball. I'm excited to bring you the unboxing of this awesome pitching machine, spin ball, three wheel. Awesome, so we're gonna start off the aesthetics of it. One of my favorite parts about this machine is the shield. Now, the reason why the shield is important is because the motors are behind the shield. We'll show you that in just a second. But as these things go, most pitching machines, those are exposed. There's a real thick piece of metal right here that's gonna protect your machine because the comebackers are what cause the wires to break so the machine not break down. So durability, very high on this beautiful machine. Love it so far. Also, really quiet considering how fast it goes. This machine goes up to 100 miles an hour. You can change the spin rate and the spin direction. We use the Stalker Pro S2 with the app to verify the spin rate on this awesome machine. It is proven to show all kinds of different shapes that can help any baseball player see the things better that they need to see to become a better hitter. So even at 100 miles an hour, these motors are not even at max capacity. They're not at max capacity, they're gonna last longer. Not only are they gonna last longer, they're gonna be more durable. Listen to the purr of that machine go, especially at 100 miles an hour. It's amazing of how quiet it is and how successfully accurate that is. All right, so now I'm gonna show how easy it goes from curveball to slider. So I moved it over here to slider. We're gonna turn it up to about 70 miles an hour. We're gonna increase the spin rate. Now, I know it's gonna go a little too far left, so we're gonna, we're gonna adjust it. We're gonna move it up just a little bit. We're going to come over here to the bottom. We're going to aim it a little bit right. So we're going to end up being in the strike zone. Three seconds are good to go. And then boom, nice little slider as it goes right there. So I want to adjust it one more time, get it a little bit lower. That was simple. We know it's good to go. Look at that. You can make huge adjustments. You just have to learn how it works and then like get a feel for it. So the interface for this is really simple to use. These knobs flow very simply back and forth, you can kind of feel the resistance of the motor slowing down or speeding it up. They all work together. So I can change the spin rates and change the machine and the spin direction. And you can feel it adjusting rather quickly in three seconds. So super easy, simple thing for any user who has one of these to speed it up, slow it down, change the direction. You can hear the machine adjusting to all of the adjustments that I'm putting through it. Love the black matte finish. Um, these arms right here, really easy to use. Got to put a little bit of toughness on it, but you can line up any pitch that you want, pull it back down. Your bottom lever over here is the one that you're going to be able to go side to side with and lock that one back in place. We've got our pitch speed right here. I love the display. Very nice, very clean and simple. Easy to move through. The spin direction is awesome because what you're trying to do is point the axis of spin. So straight up would be backspin. This would be backspin with a little bit of movement. We're getting closer to a sinker, even more of a sinker, closer to a change up. Then we're getting over here to lefty breaking balls, lefty slider, into lefty slurve. We get into the 12 six, then we get into the righties, righties all the way to the righty slider. And then we start working on cutters and stuff from there. Okay, so this awesome new chute that they've kind of installed allows us to mess with the timing of the hitters. And so this idea of it rolling down is important. And you can see this from the hitters view as it's coming at you, whether it's gonna be a little bit longer, some medium and a short. Allowing it to roll all the way down makes it difficult for the hitters to change the timing. So I can roll it from the top, I can roll it from the middle, and I can also roll it from the bottom. And you can see how quickly the ball appears inside the chute. Show you the three wheel micro adjust knobs and its capability. This is a two handed process. To make micro vertical adjustments, use your left hand to unlock the vertical left and use your right to turn the dials and adjust the machine up or down. When you get to the perfect spot, lock the knob back down. Let's show you an example. This pitch is going to miss a little high, so I'm going to take my left hand, unlock the vertical adjusting knob, and use my right hand to turn the micro adjust dial on the right. Now we're going to get the pitch to the perfect spot. Now let's show you the horizontal micro adjust knobs. Please note that the XL legs you are going to want to vertically adjust using the micro adjusters on the bottom of the machine. 
This is the same process as vertical. Two-handed process, first unlock the knob on the left and turn the dials under the machine to move it left or right. This design helps a lot making small, perfect adjustments horizontally this, and that make it very, very useful, especially in training situations, especially when you have different athletes that need to change speeds. Or I can go from like a 40 mile an hour minor league to a hundred, very impressive. So two, three, We're ready to go and beautiful. Love that. Let's adjust that just a little bit. So we got a quick adjustment from there. That was way too high. We're gonna move that. We're gonna fire it down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and make it simple. I'm gonna change, change the pitch. pitch. I'm gonna change the direction a little bit. I'm gonna turn the spin right down so it's gonna fade a little bit. It's not gonna be as powerful. We're gonna have a little bit fade to the right. So three seconds. Pitch. Awesome, good right. job. Then you also got to control the spin rate, right? This is so important because when as a little kid, if you can control the speed and the spin rate, that is as real as it gets without an arm, right? So we see that a lot of high school guys are anywhere from 2000 to 2400 spin rate. A lot of our elite pro guys and college guys are definitely 22 and above. I think the best fastball here is about 27. So the fact that I could dial in a 2700 spin rate fastball at 92 miles an hour with this machine and control the spin direction just like I could see on TrackMan, maybe put it about, he's not 12, he's maybe like a 1230. So important for the realistic view of what the pitches look like as they go. So great job, Spinball. Really excited about this machine. Um, very clean. If you have pitching machines like we do, uh, besides the Spinball, some of the customer service stuff you have to deal with is very frustrating as well as the assembly because when you have to do a warranty or an issue with a motor and you use the motors as much as we do like we do at Cutter Nation where every day they're going all day which is the durability is what you're paying for you're, you're getting a really good price for a premium product and I just couldn't be happier with this for what we have we have a bunch of them at the facilities that we have and so this allows our hitting trainers to really tell the story to our hitters so much faster and better than most people.